of Fighting Nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89 and today's Mog and Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Jujutsu Kaisen Chapter 162. So before I get into this recap and live reaction, let me just remind you to hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And if you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive and a kickin', feel free to hit up my Cash App and PayPal. Those links are in the description box below. And bam! I went on the Bampresto Twitter and... <laughs> There's finally, finally a Mahito plushie. You guys know how long I've been waiting for one of those to come out. I will get my hands on that plushie. The last time I got a Van Presto plushie, like, like this one, like the uh, Bakugo one, it was like, I think the most I've spent on one of those is like 30 bucks. So I'm going to get my hands on one of those. I will, some way, I will get my hands on that plushie. Donations will freaking help, please, but I will get my hands on that plushie. I will, even though I already ordered like two special edition uh, bears, I'm going to get my hands on that Mojito plushie. I will, that you will be mine, Mojito Van Presto plushie. <laughs> Anyways, um, last chapter, we officially started the calling game. We're in the colony. And I love how similar to, like, online multiplayer games, like um, Call of Duty and Battlefield, you're spawned in, like, random places in the map. And um, similar to those games, of course, there are noob hunters. But look at me and Nita Dory ain't having that shit. <laughs> No, nah, they ain't having that shit. Anyway, um, let's get to this chapter, see what's in store for us this week. And this chapter is titled Tokyo Number One Colony Part Two versus Haba, a noteworthy throw. Here we go. This art is looking good. And yeah, with, with this hunter group, which I think is really cool, is their hair. It's like different, like military aircraft. So like we had one, um, last week or a couple weeks ago that had like a like a military style jet for their hair which is bomb and this one's like is a helicopter propeller which is really really cool i love this i love these designs oh Ooh, this brat what insane physical prowess well no shit he has insane physical prowess itadori has sucking his power within him plus he is the the son of kamo like, what, what did you want from him? Woo! I thought it'd be pain... Uh, I thought it'd be a pain if uh, he constantly has the high ground. However, his only method of attack is, is the propeller. Dude, that is lame that your only method of attack is the propeller. Come on, man. You're supposed to be a helicopter, my dude. Uh, and a, probably a military helicopter. You gotta have some missiles or something on ya. Come on, man. That's lame. In order to kill me, he has to descend and come closer. I'll intercept him indoors. <laughs> Does he think he's come up with a smart strategy to seal my propeller? I'll adjust the length and angle. Ooh, we can adjust the length and the angle? Okay. I'll adjust the length and angle, and by increasing its rotation and durability, my propeller can even slice through um, reinforcing bars. Dude, that's pretty boss. I will give you that. The laws of physics, man. See, this is where math and physics pay the fuck off. I'll turn you into a smoothie. Good luck with that. You've angled toward uh, you've angled towards me, the top of your head. Ooh, that airplane woman from earlier had the durability to bust through a building along with me. Yet she went down from that triv trivial little throw. Uh, the farther your body is from the source of your technique, your hair, the less durability it becomes a binding vow. I, 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 I can't stress this enough. I love that their hair is like a military fucking, a military um, uh, jet, or in this case, you know, a helicopter propeller. I just think that's fucking cool. But why do you not have like, especially in the case of the military jet? Why do you not have missiles coming out of it? Why? You should be having like hair missiles. I don't understand. You have cursed energy, right? Why 
How do you have like cursed energy missiles? I don't understand. That's some wasted potential. That's lame. That's lame. But no matter how hard it is, a head is still a head. A weakness. Again, why you should be having some fucking missiles. Um, if my attack lands, uh, if my attack lands, I can crack him open. Yeah. God, I wonder how much hairspray is being used up in there. Oh, oh God. If it, if it's the really good hairspray, you better be pressing F for the ozone layer. Yeesh. I wonder, you know what? I wonder if that much, uh, if, the, if that much amount of hairspray is putting a hole in the ozone layer. With that amount of hairspray, like for then this is because this is cursed hair. Would that amount of hairspray break the barrier? Ooh, because this is this got to be cursed gray hairspray, dude. I I know I'm, I know it's weird that I'm thinking about this. But goddamn, see, I think about little things like this. <laughs> oh god, this is what happens when you have me recording shit at like two thirty in the or two forty in the morning, and I'm high on sleeping pills. <laughs> Ooh, god, your fist has been shattered, hasn't it? This about. Dude, you were not using the industrial strength hairspray. The, well, the cursed industrial cur cursed strength hairspray. That is lame, my dude. Um, either that or Itadori's fist is stronger than fucking steel, which I think it is. Uh, your fist, is, it, it's been shattered, hasn't it? This bell ends in your defeat. Obviously not, because you're bleeding, you stupid fuck. It hasn't shattered. It hasn't shattered, you fucking moron. Wait, I want to ask you about a sorcerer named um, Higuruma. Wake up. That's the right time to ask something about this. Not when the, what, not when the fucker's attacking you. I Itadori, um, I know about the guy named Higuruma. A uh, long time no see, remember me? Why does he know my name? Kagani, no, it doesn't let you see faces. Who are you? And so he really is some, someone I've met. I thought I was pretty good at remembering faces. God, he's on guard. Guess it's only natural. Sorry, I only know you since you're famous and all. The Tiger of West Junior High. Ah, so we're from the same town. Um, what a lame nickname. I'm not the one who came up with that. <laughs> oh, God. So wait, you're not a sorcerer from the past? Huh? Do I look like such an old timer? Stop referring, uh, referring to me that way. To know about that. Um, why are you actively fighting? Look here, not player citizens were let off from the colony, but players who were inside the colony to begin with have been participating in the calling game for 12 days. Whoa, it's been going on for 12 days now? Damn. Hmm, I'm not doing this because I want to. It's kill or be killed. If you hesitate to search for a reason to fight, you'll be killed instead. 12 days is more than enough to learn that. <laughs> yeah, I bet. During this process, I've seen people grow high on their own power. No shit. You should stop thinking of modern and past uh, sorcerers as, as uh, two separate things. I gotta agree with her on this. This is kill or be killed. Why would you think as past and current sorcerers as two separate things? It's kind of it kind of makes you think of Mao like that uh, in that way, which I'm gonna be starting to cover next week. It's like with Mao, where um, you have the new Ku Clan and you know the past, you know the um, the original Ku Clan. You kind of have to think of them as like, kind of think of them as the same, but at the same time, the only reason why you can't think of them as the think of them as the same is because one's obviously more experienced than the other, and that's kind of why it's the same thing here. Like the ones from the past are obviously going to be more experienced than the ones in the current era. So modern sorcerers are also itching to fight after being influenced by the sorcerers from the past. See? This is exactly like Mao. This is exactly like what's happening in Mao. I guess I told Itadori some rather unnecessary things. 
Wait, it's about time you tell me where we're headed. As I've said, there's no guarantee that you won't kill me after I've told you. Yeah, but what if you die before we get there? <laughs> That's a good point. Again, um, you're supposed to protect me and stop calling me you. But there's always a chance. Um, are you sure about this? Um, those two are two are your friends, right? Um, I was just her lackey. They would have killed me eventually. I see. Um, uh, name's Amai. Amai Ren. Amai. Um, where's Higuruma at? Well, all right then. I can give you his vague whereabouts. The stronger they are, the more likely they'll gather at prosperous places because resources are plentiful there. Higuruma is at um. Uh, Ikebukuro Shinjuku District. Shinjuku, I hate that. I, I, oh my god. Oh, they told me two different things. Shinjuku, I hope Itadori is heading there as well. Ikebukuro, I wonder if Fushiguro is heading over, is also over there. Isn't it getting a little late? When will that child bring me my next pitiful prey? Oh gosh. One of them is being led into a trap. Will it be Itador Itadori or Fushiguro that arrives at Hig um, Higuruma's location? Oh, gosh. It says here that the tattoo on his arm is, um, f wait, futai, uh, wait, futai ten, um, which is a word that stems from Buddhism and can mean conviction or determination. Hmm. Where do you think it is going to be? Who do you think is going to be led to the trap? I feel like, I feel like, um, part of me feels like Megumi's going to be led there. Hmm. Part of me thinks Megumi isn't. Part of me thinks Megumi's gonna be led there. I do. The only reason why Megumi wouldn't be led there is because bitch don't want to die. But shit. Same with same with Amai. Amai doesn't want to die either. But. Mm. I don't know. I'm curious. Who do you guys think is going to be led to the trap? Do you think it's going to be Itadori? Or do you think it's going to be Megumi? I don't trust this bitch. I do not trust her. But I do like that this chapter... And I'm glad I bit, finished binge re, um, reading Mao today. Because what's happening here in the calling game is very, very similar, if not the same as what's going on in Mao with um, the new Ku Klan and um, and the old Ku Klan, and but the difference is what's connecting the Ku Klan the the thing in um, the, the Ku Klans up in Mao are um, are cursed items versus say the calling game, which is you know are cur flat out curses. It's, it's really interesting how, how things in Mao and Jujutsu Kaisen, what's going on here, are so similar. It really is. If you are not reading Mao, you should. Mao is very, very good. It's um, by the same mangaka as Inuyasha. So if that doesn't give you a, more reason to read it, you definitely, definitely should. Anyway, I'm very curious what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nardic and Sync. If you love what I'm doing, I want to help keep this channel alive and kicking so I can keep bringing you more Jujutsu Kaisen content. There's a few ways you could do that. You could donate to my Cash App, PayPal, Patreon, purchase something on my Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, friend me on PlayStation Network. That is in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nardigans, I'll be seeing you later. Bye.